Another beautiful morning. Let's go fishing, guys. Come on. All right, so this is my little fishing rig that I've got set up. I made an entire video on this. You guys can go check it out. But it's just one of those little airport, old airport luggage carriers. And I've got my cooler bungeed on there with my ice, my drinks, and my bait. And then I've got my little kayak box on top of that bungeed in. And i uh, got my cutting board, my tackle box, my camera bag, my tripod, my uh, pliers, knife, fillet knife little net and uh, so yeah that's the setup that I use good morning guys it's Friday still in Hilton Head got a beautiful sunset or uh, sunrise check this out about to go do some fishing out there the ocean doesn't look nearly as ferocious as it did this time yesterday morning I don't know what makes the ocean rougher some days than others, but today it looks like it's rather calm. We're gonna go back out there and try the same technique, fishing with a high-low rig, see how we do. Stick around. All right, guys, same thing as yesterday. First catch, bait. But this time I am gonna keep him as bait. I'm gonna continue using shrimp for right now, but I'm gonna put him in the cooler, and later on we'll cut him up use him for bait right now what I'm using is just shrimp raw shrimp I couldn't find any live shrimp anywhere that would probably be probably be better but uh, so hopefully it's not gonna be just all little whitings today I always thought those fish were called croakers but the guy that was here a couple days ago was catching the same ones and he said no, they're, they're called whiting. So let's see what we can do. Stick around. All right, so after a morning of catching nothing but these little uh, whiting like this, I'm gonna cut him up. My trusty Mora and use him for bait. I'm gonna cut him up into little slithers. Like this, little chunks. And i uh, put him on the hook and see what he can do for me. Oh yeah, this piece is all got some guts and everything. Make sure we get those on there. And usually what I do with these, I go through one side, up, and hook it back around the other side. So the hook actually goes into two places. But if you were a big fish, wouldn't you want to eat that? I know I wouldn't. And I will save the rest of him. Put him back in the cooler. I've got a runny nose today, guys. I apologize. Right now it's all right, so this is what I was afraid of. A shark. That's what we call it on the cut up whiting. Little guy, he is about 16 inches long. I don't know what kind of shark it is. If you know, leave a comment in the section below. But now the fun part of getting that hook out. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the teeth. Hold still, little guy. Let me get that hook out of you. Let me get that hook out of you. So, yeah, we got the little... I don't know if you know what kind of shark it is. Let me know. I like the tail. Isn't he beautiful? We're going to take him back. Let him get bigger so he can bite people. Yeah, that little 16-inch shark fought. And it was uh, 16 inches. I could imagine what a bigger one would do. So... I was curious what would happen if I used that whiting as bait, and now I know, but I'm gonna keep it. He didn't take him my bait, so how about that? I caught the fish and kept the bait. That's a good deal. Thank you, Mr. Shark. I am going to re-hook it 
anytime you reel in on fishing, always rehook your bait if you have bait remaining because he jerked it off of the hook but not completely. All right, guys, stick around and see if we can get something big that's keepable. All right, so I just missed something rather large and it took one of my pieces of whiting. I reeled it in about halfway and it got loose. I didn't even get a chance to see what it was. It, it might have been a skate or a ray because it was really pulling hard. It even put a crease in this little wire leader right here. It goes to the hook. I mean, it's still strong enough to, to continue using. I'm going to try an experiment now. I'm going to put out on one hook, I'm going to put out the same piece of whiting here. And then on the other hook, I'm going to put a piece of shrimp. And we'll see what bites first, what bites what first. Just a little experiment. You got to try things, guys, when you're fishing. And uh, I just got kind of tired of catching those little whitings. I still have some in the cooler here for bait for later on. But I don't want to stay out here too late because, you know, when Miss Arabin wakes up, she likes to eat breakfast and then come down to the beach. So, same situation as yesterday. The tide is coming in, so the bites are fewer in between. So, I think that the tides do reflect how the fish bite. I think a lot of it has to do with when the tide is higher, it's hard for me to get the bait out further. But anyway, let's try this experiment with one piece of shrimp and one piece of whiting. Let's see what happens. All right, well, that didn't take long. The winner of the contest between whiting is bait and shrimp is bait. Here's the shrimp. Here's the whiting. Eaten by another whiting. Gross, dude. That could have been your brother you just ate. I guess they don't care. And this is about a, uh, let's see, whoa, get back here. He's only nine inches, so I'm not going to use him for bait because he's so big. I'm not going to keep him because I'm not keeping these fish, so I'm going to go put him back and let him live to grow bigger. All right, guys, so as you can see, the tide is getting closer to my setup, so, and it's a, getting close to nine o'clock, so I'm going to call it all morning. Just had a scary experience though. As I was walking out to cast, like I say, I usually go about this high. When I was about that high, something big bumped my leg. I don't know what it was, but I immediately cast and hauled it back in. Didn't bite me or anything, didn't leave a, a mark or anything, but it was a pretty solid bump. I think it was just a large fish swimming by and accidentally ran into me. But uh, nonetheless, it's scary. I've heard that's how what bull sharks will do is they will hit before they turn back around and strike. So I don't know what it was, but it wasn't just a little teeny whiting. Anyway, I just had to take the surf fishing walk of shame that is when you have to reel in with no fish on your hooks and make the walk back into shore to your stuff. Something did steal the piece of shrimp that was on there, but that piece of whiting is still there. So I guess I just didn't feel it. Or maybe the, the bait just came off, I don't know. But anyway. I'm going to call it in the morning. I'm going to come back tonight. Maybe I'll bring the camera with me then. But until then, I appreciate you guys coming along on Urban Outdoors. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.